Hello there, you beautiful people. I'm going to show you why it's such a nightmare cooking up Everest. What you need is big fluorescent gloves for this. Okay, this is slightly dangerous. Uh, you don't need to try this at home. I'll just explain it to you. Now, what I've got here is a beautiful conical flask. I love a conical flask. Uh, it's got a little bit of gravel in the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of food dye in so you can see what's going on. Now, what we need is some hot water. Here's a kettle that has recently boiled. Just pour that into there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Now, water boils in my kitchen at 100 degrees. Now, let's check the temperature. So, we'll put our little probe in here and see what it says. So, there we go. The temperature there is now 84 degrees. 84 degrees. Okay, so we're down here in northeast London. I'm now going to take you up Everest. And I'm going to do that by dropping the pressure in this bottle. Okay, this is a little suction pump, and as I pump it, the pressure in here drops, it creates a vacuum. And the amazing thing is happening right now. You see that? It's boiling all over again, despite the fact that it's 84 degrees. So what on earth is going on? Well, when the pressure drops, water boils at a completely different temperature. Now, that is a nightmare for people up Everest because you've got to get water up to a high temperature to be able to actually cook things, to break down fibres, to, to cook your pasta, to make vegetables soft. And if you can't do that, you can't cook. So that is why I'm not going up Everest, apart from the fact that I'm physically incapable. There you go, an amazing little bit of food science just for you. Come back, tell me all the stuff that you want to see. Any little bits of insane food science you'd like me to demonstrate for you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>